The works for the removal of vegetation are necessary to determine the condition of the structures, the paths and the walls. The site has become overgrown and dense in areas and this needs to be addressed. The works will include the clearing and cutting back of vegetation along paths, the removal of undergrowth along the terraced areas, the removal of all dead and dying trees, taking away creepers from mature trees, clearing out the squash courts to ground level and disposing of material from the site. This is just the first phase of the project. We came to the view ourselves that really it was very difficult to marry commercial considerations with the important heritage and environmental uh, state in which, uh, which we have the mountain, the important environmental conditions and the important heritage considerations that exist there. So then we took the view that we need to make sure it's an open green area. It'll be a, a, a showpiece, if you like, for the concept of, of green Gibraltar. It'll be open to the general public. It will start, as I said, with the clearing of vegetation, but then there is a considerable amount of work to be done. I mean, this is not going to happen overnight, and this is a project which we see will be phased over a number of years to make sure that we do it properly and we end up with a final product of which Gibraltar can be well and truly proud. The buildings on the site are in a pretty poor state of repair. However, the government believes these can be salvaged and ultimately put to good use. There is the Porter's Lodge. We've already said that we'd like to see the Porter's Lodge be used as a place where people will be able to marry, as a civil, the venue for the civil registry uh, here in Gibraltar. There are something like 1,700 civil weddings conducted, and although people can have it elsewhere other than the registry office, the fact is many people choose to have it in the registry office itself. This should provide far more pleasant surroundings, and I think indeed historic uh, surroundings as well at the same time. And also you have the additional advantage that there will be an event centre at the Mount, as it has been traditionally, so people will be able to get married in the Porter's Lodge and have a reception in the event centre if they so wish. Then there is the main building, which will be what we, we, we term the Discovery Centre. We've had uh, very detailed conversations with a, a philanthropic entity based here in Gibraltar. They're, they're very interested in developing the idea as of a Discovery Centre, mainly for pro providing educational experiences which would challenge the mind for the younger uh, generation. And that will be the use which we, we, to with which we would like to put the main building. Now, also in the grounds, we intend to have overnight stays. So if you have retreats, so you have children staying overnight in, in tents or in cabins, we need to see which is best suited for the area. So there is a considerable a plan already in place for the existing built-up assets at the Mount and what we'd like to do with them going forward. The project will be managed together with the Ministry for the Environment.